Hello? 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 Is anyone there? Can anyone see me or hear me? <laughs> uh, what's going on, guys? It's, uh, uh oh, it's Sunday. Oh, sorry. I just sort of quickly got everything set up because here's the thing. It's already... 11.20 a.m., you guys. It's 11.20 a.m. I'm a little bit behind. Hello. Good morning. Uh, there's two people here. Yay. So, <laughs> hi, 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 hi. Hello, everybody. Um, as promised last night, I am going to be live streaming today. Um, right now, I just jumped on Animal Crossing. And because it's Sunday... Mabel's still here, so I think if I buy something from her today again, then maybe she's going to be able to set up her shop, which is exciting. Um, but yeah, it's Sunday, and I want to do turnip Sunday. So here's what's on the agenda, is I want to get some turnips today. Maybe check out a mystery island. I'm not sure. Not sure. And then I bought, I got a box of Funko Pops that was from my old house from the garage. I put it upstairs. Hi, B. And, uh... And Wiz, I'm doing well. How are you? Hello. Um, and then we'll go upstairs and we'll go check out some like Funko Pop related things because I know that I haven't been doing a whole lot of Funko Pop related things. Hopefully you guys just saw the video I just posted today, this morning, my mystery box unboxing. Anyways, um, the Cinco family, what's up? Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Amanda. Okay. So I don't want to take too much time because I don't really know how the... Oh, there's something amusing today. Um, I feel that might improve your quality of life here. When you got your tent, you also received a portable radio. Oh, you can listen to music on your portable radio. Um, I'm just trying to let Tom Nook go through his announcements. Oh, you can purchase music? That's interesting. Um, just let him go through his announcements and then, yeah. So anyways, we're just going to do a little bit of... <clears throat> a little bit of uh, Animal Crossing, and then we'll go upstairs and do some other things. So let me get this set up. Sorry. Again, we're doing Animal Crossing the janky way, which is me just showing it to you on my TV. Why does it seem so far away right now? Let me do it a little bit closer like that. How, how's that? How's that? A little bit better? You have the glare from my light, so I'll turn off my light. Hold on. Let me turn that off. Okay. So, uh, there's me in my egg costume. I was watching videos last night on how you can make gold roses, which I'm not there yet because I don't have a, I haven't like done anything about my island. But apparently, when you take two red roses and you put them together, apparently they can potentially make a black rose. So I don't. I have these roses, and then there's these roses. They look different, don't they? A little bit different. I don't know if it's the lighting or not, but my white tulips, I've made more white tulips. Oh, that was a B. And then it looks like I made more like red flowers. And then these ones keep making pink ones. So I have a lot of pink ones. Um, yeah, anyways, what were we doing? Oh, turnip lady. So how much money do I even have? 96,000. I might need to go to the bank really quick. Because I need to buy stuff from Mabel, too. I can buy stuff from her later. Um, man, I can't believe that really works. The whole, like, if you run out of tarantula with not a net. Oh, there's a turtle lady. Turtle lady. Woo! Yes. Hi, Daisy May. What, what? So for those of you guys who don't know, turnip, Daisy May sells turnips as part of the, the stock market. Uh, what is it called? Sow Jones, <laughs> Sow Jones stock market, like the Dow Jones stock market. And you basically buy these turnips and then throughout the week, you have to try to sell them to like Tommy or Timmy, one of them. And then, but they get, they raise in price or they could decrease in price, I guess. But you have to, um, you have to sell them by next Sunday or else they go bad. They get rotten. So happy Sunday, everybody has to do it. Okay. Jared, thank you so much for saying that because you're right. I realized when I was editing the video, and I should have put a note in it, but I was too lazy, that the pops that I got in the in the video that I posted today, those were the actual con stickers. So, Okay, so let's just, honestly, once we buy these turnips, I'd be down to, like, we could move forward. I don't know if I'm supposed to keep listening to her talk. 
Turning up for process. Okay, so Timmy, I gotta sell them to Timmy. Yes, I'm good. I wanna buy some turnips. Okay, 95 bells, that's not bad. That's not bad. Right now I can buy 95 of them with the money that I have on hand. Um, when I was watching Austin John plays, he his were selling for 105. And then they get put in, in bundles of 10. So I want to get, I guess I can get 96 right now for what I have. Oh, no, wait. How much are they? Oh, 95. Oh, wait, maybe I can buy. Oh, wait, I'm confused. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What, what's the, how much is it? Oh, 95. Oh, wait, wait a second. My math was really bad just now. Okay, I see. But then can I, does anybody know, does anybody know, I bought 200 this this morning. She was selling them for kind of high for me though. Does anybody know, like, can I put the turnips somewhere else throughout the week or do I have to leave them in my pockets? Does anybody know the answer to that? I think that's the thing that I'm trying to figure out here because if I have to leave them in my pockets, I obviously don't have very much pocket space right now. Um, I just broke my shades. I don't have very much pocket space right now. Is that a glare? Did I put a glare? No. Um, I don't have too much pocket space right now, so you can drop them in your house. Okay, perfect. I shouldn't buy the Max though, right? Can I? It's only 66,000 bells. I was planning on, on spending 95,000 bells today, so I mean, it's really like not terrible, right? Sorry for the like flickering of the, the TV screen. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I need to get a real streaming device, obviously. Okay, let's buy the Max, right? I've been waiting. I've been waiting for this day for like a week and a half now. Let's do it. Sounds good to me. So then, how much should I pay 95 each? So now when I go to top Timmy and I try to sell him them, I need to make sure that I'm getting them for more. That droopy thing coming out of this, this thing's nose is kind of weird looking. It's a little bit weird looking. Okay. Do I get a prize because I got some turnips? Yes. Uh, 300 Nook Miles. That was a lot of Nook Miles. I need to go to a lot of Mystery Islands apparently. Okay. Well, we, oh, what kind of butterfly is that? There's my money spot. Oh, never mind. It's just a comment. Oh, I, I don't have any pockets. Uh, let's let it go. I don't know how much that thing is worth, but I clearly, oh, I, oh, oh, because I just bought a bunch of turnips. 10. Oh, they're in bundles of a hundred. Wow. Ten, wow. Okay. Let's go put some turnips. Oh, is it the max that I could buy because of my pocket space? Is that what was happening just now? Is that why? I see, I see. I could have bought more, I see. Is that true? Okay, wait, let's put all my turnips in this room because I don't really have anything going on in this room right now. Turn up, turn it. <laughs> um, thank you for the 28 of you that are here watching me play Animal Crossing. I didn't even think about that when I went to go find her. I wasn't really trying to find her yet. She just kind of stumbled upon her that I still had all the stuff from my inventory yesterday. Okay, so now I just, oh, now I just need to remember to sell these before, um, before next Sunday. And then let's put this in storage. And then I wanna go plant I'll put drop these eggs because I don't need these. I'm gonna plant. I'm gonna go plant my roses. I don't. I need to look at the flower charts to understand color. It's like how to um make different colors because I don't really know them very well. So I'll have to do that at some point. Um. Good morning, Mikio. Hi, Henry. Good morning. You can go back and buy more if you want. I think I might empty out my pockets and then go see. Oh, I have a fossil right there. Go see what if if maybe I, what if I go back to her and she's like, oh, they're two hundred dollars now each. <laughs> so let me plant these flowers. And luckily, I haven't done any watering today as of yet. So I want to try to see. Let's see. That's is that. Wait a second. I need to put one right here.
and then maybe one right. I I obviously like all of my flowers are just kind of like with mixed all mixed together <laughs> because I I haven't taken the time to like make a cool area. I just don't want these in my pockets right now. So I'm just going to plant these really quick. I'll be honest, it's hard for me because I like to run really fast through a lot of things. So it's it's difficult and challenging for me to to remember to not do that with all these flowers here. Um, oh, these roses look really nice though. So I've been having any time, so I've been doing this like diagonal pattern so you can see where flowers have kind of crossbred. Like this one appeared, these red ones right here or pink or whatever they are. Oh, oh God, I just said about running through flowers and then I ran through the flowers and then all my tulips started to crossbreed but just they just created white tulips, so that's not fun. Um, I really, I heard through the grapevine that, that flowers tend to mutate more on the weekends. I don't know if that's true. And I want to try to see next time I go to an island, if I have one that has red roses, I might just try to get a bunch of red roses. Because again, if you do the two red roses next to each other, then they could potentially make black roses. Um, okay, sorry, I'm getting distracted. Let me sell off my inventory and then let me go find Turnip Lady one more time. See Daisy May. Let's see what she's selling them for. And then... I might buy a little bit more with the money that I have, but <clears throat> that's it then. I won't do any more. I can't sell turnips to them today because it's Sunday. Oh, can they give me? Oh, they don't buy. Okay, I see, I see, I see. Yes, yeah, sorry. I just wanted to look. I just wanted to look. Sorry. I don't even have any turnips in my pocket. I just want to get clear. Oh, I just want to clear. I'll clear these three things out. What do you guys think? I think that's going to be like 300 bells. Oh, wow. 1560. Wait, wait a second. What was expensive in that bundle that I just had? I had a coral, a giant clam, and a yellow butterfly. It must be the, the, the giant clam or the curl, coral. Um, okay. Oh, everyone's saying that that, or some people are saying that the turnip should be the same price. I don't know if that's true or not. How do I find her? Where'd she go? Did she just walk around over here? She like found me that last time. It's kind of scared me. She just kind of popped out of nowhere. Wait, once I buy turnips, does she go away? I need to, I need to sort out this situation right here, guys. I'm, this is like hoarder. Oh gosh. You just like, you can just see the hoarderness of me. Of, oh, geez, okay. I shouldn't, I just let one go, but I just, where'd she go? Oh, what's that? This looks like a colorful bug. Oh, it's a tiger beetle. I don't think I've ever seen the tiger beetle. Oh, one of my money trees sprouted. Neato. Okay, I'll get that later. Um, wait. Does the turnip lady go away after I buy turnips or can I find her again? Like, where would she be? Oh, oh, got him. I've already caught a bunch of dragonflies. They don't really make a lot of money though. And they're very hard to catch. I haven't caught a petal yet though. This is my first petal. I have to do all the cherry blossom like DIYs or whatever. Oh, there she is. There she is. Ew, ew, coronavirus. Gross, did you see the droplets coming out of her face just now? Oh my God. Jeez, that's, they should, um. Good night, Marianne, Mar Mariani, sorry, Mary, how do we say your name wrong? Mary, is it Mary Annie, Mary Annie or Mariani? Mary Annie, I think. Oh, you're in Australia. Do you have this game? I should visit you. Okay. There we go. I see, I see. Okay, so before, it's just how much money I have. I'm gonna go all in and spend all my money on turnips because I know I can get more money or more bells. Were they still 95? I, I didn't actually read. Oh, wow. Okay, let me go put these turnips back in my house. And then I think we're good. Like, I think I'm good for gameplay today in regards to having to live stream this. I, I don't catch a lot of, 
bugs. And so whenever there's anything flying around, I try to catch it just because I don't actually know what I have and what I don't have when it comes to bugs. Oh, because I just don't keep track of that very well. Yeah, Stuart, it's snot, I think. I'm pretty sure that's snot hanging out of her nose. Uh, uh, but yeah, right before I walked up, she like sneezed and even just in the game, it made me kind of like, Ooh. <laughs> I don't want to go near that. Oh, I can eat the turnips. But I thought they said that they're not meant for eating. Okay. All right. Have you been putting stuff in the store? Yeah, I have been. Like, I have. The thing about the storage is, like, because I don't look at it often, I try. I only put things that I, like, know I'm never going to look at. So, like, I put a lot of wood. That's why I've been hoarding my wood because it couldn't fit in the house. And then, like, all of these, like, random things. Like, I'm sure I'm supposed to be putting these things around my house or around the, the island. But, like, I just, like, I, I didn't need an old-fashioned wash tub. So, I didn't put it down there, you know? I need to take this fossil, though, back to Blathers. Um, yeah, it's been a mixture of what I've been doing. And then, like, and then I have all this stuff outside. Clearly, I have to figure it out, right? Like, clearly something is wrong with me. I need to figure this out. I'll work on it. Money tree, money tree. Uh, these three, these are money trees. Oh, two of my money trees sprouted. Cool. And then I have to go, I saw another um, money tree thing. Oh, what's this butterfly? Is that the yellow one? That one? Or is that just a common? I think that's just a common one. Right? Okay. I There's my money tree spot for today. So I'll have to do that. And then I need to buy stuff for Mabel. So I'm, I'm going to have to make more bells today to buy stuff for Mabel. Okay. So I think that that's good on our Animal Crossing footage. Yeah? And then let's go upstairs. For those of you who are like, uh, I hate Animal Crossing. Which makes sense. How long have you been on? It's never alerted me that you were live. I've only been on for like, oh, 17 minutes. I just wanted to buy my turnips. So I bought turnips from the turnip lady. I bought, how much did I buy? Like a thousand turnips, I think. Just whatever I had in my um, stockpile of bells that I was holding. It's like 95,000. Oh, it says, Haley says notifications aren't working properly. That sucks. I'm sorry. I'll try to do, I don't, I mean, I obviously don't have plans to live stream often, but I'll try to do like, like heads up or something like on my Instagram or something. I don't know. Um, my, I don't want to show you guys my room, but it's a mess, but I'll show you guys just cause I like you guys. And I know you guys won't judge me too hard. My Funko Pop, let me flip my camera around. My Funko Pop area is still a disaster, but I'm excited because I don't know if I'm going to do it today, but clearly like all of these Funko Pops, these are all ones that are technically in my collection. So I need to, um, build more bookshelves and my plan is to build I have another one of these bookshelves who oh, I'm really tired and so I'm gonna build I'm gonna build a bookshelf and put it there I haven't figured out what to put in this space because I thought I could put a plastic a plastic like shelving unit but it doesn't fit in that area um okay wait first of all before I just can no judgment. Okay, guys, I know this room is a hot mess, especially because I haven't taken the time this weekend yet to break down all the boxes. So it makes it look even messier, but, but no judgment. I'm going to show you guys just so you guys can keep up with it. But anyways, so this area is still just at a standstill. Um, the goal is to put the bookshelves that are like that over along this wall here to give me more Funko Pop storage and storage on top of the bookshelves because like obviously I have a bunch of stuff just like chilling on this ledge which is not safe because if you look over the ledge it's literally just stairs so um I need to bring those boxes down this is just a pile of stuff and then extra boxes I need to unbox these are all the boxes that I need to unbox right now there's a lot these are all the boxes that I've already unboxed I need to break down and then uh, so the goal here is I need to really start. So there's some giveaway boxes I need to keep uh, building. Those are the old giveaways that I owe people from like 2017. I'm sorry, guys, but I have been contacting people. I need to actually 
uh, circle back to that. Those are all my giveaway pops. I need to sort through the bins. I need to get more bins. I have more bins in the garage I need to bring up, more shelves I need to bring up, because then the thought process is that there'll be another plastic shelving unit there, and then probably two more plastic shelving units here, and they'll all have the bins that have all the stuff, like just sorting through all the stuff. Like those boxes are all just um, full of random things when we were emptying out subscription boxes that I've already like gone through. We just like dumped everything into bigger boxes. And then my garage is just a hot mess too um, because I still have a lot of things from when I moved in from my other house just like chilling down there. So I'm excited to have some time. But yeah, my goal is to... My goal is to probably build a bookshelf, build a couple bookshelves today, and then probably try to bring up some stuff. I don't know. I can't bring things up necessarily until I get rid of these. Like, I have to do an unboxing for all of this Tareva stuff, clearly. I have these boxes, but I also have a, a couple boxes in the garage. So it's like, I have a lot of boxes. It's just a lot. Um, but I brought this box from the garage in here, and this is a box from my old house. I don't think that they're that necessarily that old, but like these are the kind of random pops. They're like super random, so I don't really know what this is from. I don't know. I think it might have been from my in. You know, guys, remember when I started filming inside of my house where I had the nerdy noob thing in the background? I was filming downstairs. I think that um, these pops came from that table. I think I'm not. I'm not a hundred percent sure. So let me set this up. Hold on. I'm gonna put you guys down really quick. So just stare at those Fun Funko Pops for just a sec. This box is much bigger than the chair that I have here. Okay, so let me get this set up. I brought my laptop here so that I can see your comments. It's really hard to read the comments from the actual phone because I'm streaming. I've been streaming, oops, sorry. I've been streaming from my phone lately because I think the video quality is better. I think it's better. Um, whew, I'm like exhausted. Okay, so let's see, let me put this here. So uh, what I thought we could do, oh no, I don't have my other phone. Okay, wait. I'm gonna go run downstairs and get my actual, my other phone because I, so I can scan it and then my tea because I have some tea and then I'll be, so I'll be right back. Just hold please. If somebody comes and says, where is everybody? Just tell them I'll be there in a second. Oh no, I, I'm frozen on the live stream, why? Oh no, why am I frozen? No, what's happening? Am I frozen? It looks like I'm frozen. I don't know, okay, I'll be right back, hold on. Okay, I'm back. Okay, sorry. All right, so I haven't come back into the screen. You know, the phone camera is so much more clear than the, um, like my laptop camera. It's crazy how different it is. It's crazy. Okay, here we go. So this is such a random range of pops, you guys. I don't even know what's in here. Some of these I can tell are like, they're not gonna be like, they're not gonna be great. But let's go ahead and do, I forgot what we called this game. It's like, it's like the pop, uh, higher or lower. Did we call it higher or lower? But pop, but Funko Pop edition, is that what we did? I don't remember. I don't remember how the rules were. It was like, oh gosh, sorry. Whew. Um, it's like you pull, I pull out a pop, I pull out two pops, and then we decide which one is more expensive, and then and then the the one that's more expensive stays, and the one that's least expensive goes. Is that how we played it? Or like maybe not? Maybe we just like higher or lower, and then no matter what happens, the new one stays, and the old one goes. 
<laughs> I don't know. Thomas, I didn't actually stay up too late last night. I was really tired. I've been really, really tired lately. And so, yeah. Anyways. Um, hi, Jess. Jess is in the house. Jess, how are you? I miss you. Uh, I hope you guys are doing well and staying safe out in Massachusetts. M-A-S-S-A-S-S-A. -A -S 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 -A. I'm really good at spelling Massachusetts when I'm actually writing it with a piece of paper and not in my head. Okay, Jesse. Hello, Jesse. Um, okay, so wait. So I think we just pull out two pops or we have one pop and then we pull another one, we say higher or lower. And then the old pop goes, the new pop then takes the place and then we do higher or lower. I, that's how we're gonna play it today because I don't remember. So the first pop that we have, this should be an easy round. We have our Newt Scamander pop. And we're gonna go versus our Percival Graves pop. These are all from Fantastic Beasts. Messages. See, I know how to spell it. It's just, I just, cause I wasn't, I, cause I had to say it in my head, I couldn't do it. I just couldn't. Okay, so the question is between these, oh, these ones are super dusty. Between these two pops, which one's higher? And which one's lower? So Lady Enigma says that Newt is lower. So I think for this first round, we'll keep whatever one is higher. And then the next one will, the lower one will get taken off. Okay. Don't cheat, guys. Don't be cheaters. Are you guys cheating? Okay. So Lady Enigma says Newt is lower. So we're going to go with what she says. So let's go ahead and scan these. Um, I love the new rainbow pops that they just came out with. The Hello Kitty and SpongeBob ones. Those are so cool. Um, okay, everyone's saying Newt's lower. So let's go ahead and check that out. So Newt Scamander is going for $6. Percival Graves is going for, oh wait. I should add these to my collection, right? Oh, this is Newt Scamander with egg, it says. Why did it, it's making me log in? Oh no. Oh shoot, I don't know if I know my login to be honest. Uh-oh. Why, why do I have to log in? Oh gosh, I don't know if I remember my login information. Oh, did I get in? I think so. Yes, okay, I'm in. Okay, so he was $6. And now we're gonna check out Percival Graves. Hi Kyrie. $8, you guys were right. Okay, so Newt, and I'm, let me add him to this. So, I don't have enough space to put these pops that I want to keep, but okay. So eight dollars, Percival Graves. This is going well so far. Let me lower this just a little bit so you guys can see. Okay, the next pop is going to be whoa. Let's make it a little bit hard. Loki from Thor Ragnarok. What do you guys think? There, see, now you can still see me. Hello. Okay, higher or lower than Percival Graves? Loki is higher, Loki is lower. Oh, I like that Loki pop. Higher, higher, okay, so I think the consensus is higher. I'm gonna say higher as well because I like Loki better. Oh man, it's crazy how dusty these, I wonder if they were dusty when I put them into the box because this box has been closed for literally like the past almost year. So I don't know how, like, I don't know how that works out. Okay, let's see. I just, I'm looking at the pops in here and I just see a lot of Power Ranger pops. And I'm like, oh no, oh no. Cause I know those are gonna be worth like $6. Okay, so a lot of people are saying Loki's higher. Let's check it out. Oh no, ah, hot topic. Hot topic and their dang stickers. Okay, Loki from Thor, from Thor Ragnarok is, Oh wow, wait, is this right? $14, nice. I'll I'll take that, that's good. Okay, so $14, you guys were right, Loki is higher. Okay, next. Ooh, Diamond Collection Hot Topic Exclusive Bell. Uh, so Loki was $14, what do you guys think about Bell?
Bell is higher. Lower. Barely. Bell is higher. Lower. Higher. Higher. Hmm. Low key is higher. 16. Somebody else 16. Higher. So I think it seems like most, most people think... Oh, somebody said the same. Okay. Most people think that Loki is going to be higher. Or no, not Loki. I'm sorry. Wait. No, Bell. I think mm, it's hard to say because some of the diamond exclusives are worth a lot and some of them are not worth much. So, um, oops, sorry. I, Bell higher. $17? I don't know. Okay. I'm going to say higher because the diamond, oh wait, I, uh, I got to type it. I don't know. Sometimes the diamond collection are pretty good. Let's see. So I had to do one of the typey ones because, um, Bell diamond. Oh my gosh. $10. Womp, womp, womp. Okay. So Bell is worth $10. She was, we got that one wrong, except for some of you guys got it right. Cause some of you guys said lower. Oh, sorry. The years I can only, Oh, how do we find the years again? Is it this thing underneath? Is it like, which one is it? This is from two, oh, I actually don't know where this is from. 2017. So is this the number that I'm looking at to know the year? 17? Hi, Izzy. Let me try one of these. Okay. Let me do a common one because I don't think anything's gonna, okay. How about this one? Boom. You guys remember me trying to get this one? Is this the one that I had to try to get from the mystery box? It took me freaking forever and I don't think I got it and somebody had to send it to me. Yeah, that one. So this is our Yellow Ranger Gold Metallic GameStop exclusive, which I think came out of mystery boxes that I did a long time ago. I think Black Friday mystery boxes. I actually don't really remember, but what do you guys think? I think, oh God, it's probably lower to be honest. Oh, Yellow Ranger higher. Bell is lower. Okay, so Bell is $10. So people are saying that Bell's going to be lower so that the Yellow Ranger is going to be higher. Equal. I don't even know. I thought this wasn't really going for very much, but I think I would have to say, oh, some people are saying the same. I think it was a Black Friday, but it was higher, higher. Okay. I'm going to give the Yellow Ranger a benefit of the doubt because I like the Yellow Ranger. So I'm going to say higher as well. Oh, you guys want to look at years? Does that mean this is from 2016? Because I see a 16 on it. So maybe from 2016. That sounds about right. Because I think I got these for Black Friday in 2016. Okay. Yes. Lower, higher. There's so many. 13. Yes, just barely, but I'll take it. Okay. You know which ones held the values? That, I think it was that. Remember in that same box, I think they had the... um the oh god what is it called the fallout power armor like gold variant and i think that one is actually going for a decent amount of money okay so we're at 13 dollars for this let's go ahead i have a bunch of common pops in here so i just know that it's not going to be great how about this we have our newt scamander this is an sdcc shared exclusive from 2016 i don't know what it's a shared exclusive from not Hot Topic and not Box Lunch, I don't think. Oh, Metallic Vegeta came from that same mystery box. That makes sense. Okay. So $13 for this Yellow Ranger Metallic. What do you guys think about this Newt Scamander? So the question is lower or higher? So we put this new pop out. Is this going to be lower or higher than the Yellow Metallic Ranger? So higher, lower, $10. Higher, lower. I think higher. I It's hard because this is a con exclusive. It's a shared exclusive. I don't remember what it's from. I'm actually going to go, I think I'm going to go lower. I know it's, it's a mix. A lot of you guys are saying higher and lower, but there's actually a lot of lowers. I actually think I'm going to go lower for this one because I think it's going to be lower. So let's go ahead. Oops and see what we got. Yeah. $26. Wow. 
I would have never thought. That is a shared exclusive with Barnes and Noble. And this shows the shared exclusive sticker on the app. It's not like it's even the con, stick, the con sticker, but I don't know, sometimes it's a mix. So the $26 might be more for the con sticker, but still the fact that it's even, I thought that was gonna be, honestly, I thought that was gonna be like $10. Wow, that's crazy, okay. So then next we have our 2016 shared exclusive for BB-8. I don't think it can surpass $26. I don't know what this is from. Oh, AA Bear Pop Vinyl. Mm, I don't know what that means. AA Bear Pop Vinyl. I don't even, it has one of those like stickers on it that I feel like is Hot Topic or Box Lunch. Um, so is BB-8 gonna be higher or lower than Newt? Hi, Tristan, Tristan's in the house, what, what? Okay, Tristan's saying lower, let's go with that. Tristan saying lower. Okay, Tristan, let's see your knowledge. Hope, hopefully you didn't cheat, Tristan. Okay, oh, I can't scan it. Dang it, that sucks. Okay, let me type it in. So Tristan saying lower, which I actually am gonna agree with him because $26, that's a lot of money. I can't imagine this BB-8 is going for that much more. I just always feel like the Star Wars pops don't hold their value as much. Why did I search BB-8 and it's like not popping up anything BB-8 related? What the heck? Do I just have to write bb happened here what happened here it's it's showing me every single like star wars thing uh bb8 oh man you guys i don't know how these filters work i did bb-8 and it literally is just showing me like a bunch of wacky wobblers <sighs> come on funko get your act together okay tristan said that he didn't cheat good job tristan let's see if I can even find out what this is worth. This is literally showing me everything except for BB-8. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? Try BB-0, oh, 16. Oh yeah, I guess I could do the number. What is it, 116? I never search by numbers. You guys are always so smart. Okay, good job. Okay, this one is officially Lower, it's $10. And this is $10 for the actual exclusive. I forgot, I think this was a Hot Topic exclusive, but it doesn't actually say. So, $10. Oh, what is everyone talking about right now? $95, oh, turnips. Oh, did someone talk, ask me about turnips? Is that what was happening here? I did buy a bunch of turnips already, I'm sorry. You missed it, it's in the beginning of this live stream. I paid 95 bells for each turnip. Okay, so BB-8, womp, womp, womp. Not great value there. Wow, I can't believe Newt is worth $26. That's great. I'm just gonna keep stacking the Funko Pops here. I probably shouldn't do that, but I'm going to. Okay, um, thank you, Mikio. Somebody got their bells, uh, their, their turnips for 91 bells. Dang it, Lady Enigma, that's so cheap. Okay, so $10. Well, then let's go ahead and jump to, these are like random Star Wars Pops, which you guys, I don't know if you guys know, like Star Wars Pops never hold their value very well. So this is Varmic. What do you guys think? We'll have to go a little bit quicker. So you guys just have to do your best at answering fast. I'm going to say, oh, $10. I'm going to say, ooh. Uh, I'm going to say, mm, this, mm, when is this from? Maybe it's from 2015. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, mm, a lot of you are saying lower. I'm going to say higher. Uh, I don't know. Star Wars Pops don't hold any value whatsoever. Like they're really bad, but okay, you're right. Maybe I should say lower. No, I just to stick with my gut. I'm going to go higher. I'm going to go higher. Oh, it has a sticker. Oh my gosh. I literally hate, I, Hot Topic and Box Lunch need to figure that out. Oh man, you guys. <sighs> Barmic is worth $7. Ah, I should have known. I should have known. 104 bells on Lizzie's Island, 106 on one of their friends, and 90 bells on their other friends. Ah. Uh, I'm useless here. I stopped keeping pops under 500. I probably should do the same, but I'm not there yet. Oh gosh. I should stop. I shouldn't stack these so high. Okay. I need to start a new stack. Okay. 
We're getting to the nitty gritty of a lot of common pops, so we're just gonna go quick. Higher or lower, $7. I'm gonna say higher. Higher. Oh my gosh, and it's a freaking, it's a, it's a thing. It's a thing. It's from Hot Topic. Red Ranger. Oh wow, wait, is this the right one? From 2016 Vaulted, oh wow. What'd you guys say? Oh, higher, you guys are right. It's $15. I would have never guessed that. So $15 for the Red Ranger. I need to move all this stuff. Gotta start another stack of Funko Pops. Okay, how about this Pink Ranger? I'm gonna say lower. I don't think she's worth more than $15. I'm gonna say lower. Oh gosh, it's the, it's the thing. Okay, I guess lower and this is going for $8. So I got that one right, yay. I rarely get these right, okay. So, uh, what do we say? $8? Ooh, what about this? This is the Pink Ranger. Uh, this is the Morphine exclusive where they were kind of glittery. I actually, $8, I actually think, <sighs> I think they might be the same, to be honest. I don't think these ones held very good value. Um, some of you guys are saying higher. I'm going to go same. I'm going to go, they're the same. What was this? Eight dollars. <laughs> this one's worth five dollars, guys. Five freaking dollars. Are you kidding me? Well, let's see what the Yellow Ranger is. I can't believe. Wow, that's bad. Okay, I'm gonna say. Uh. Um, I like the Yellow Ranger better than Pink Ranger, so I'm gonna say higher. I'm gonna say higher. Six dollars, I got one right, yay! That's funny. Oh, and I already have this in my collection, it looks like, so I might, this might be a duplicate, I think. I'm just gonna add a second one, just in case. I don't know if that's true or not. Oh wait, what am I doing? Six dollars, sorry. Okay, what about the Black Ranger? What do you think? I think, I think, same price. I'm gonna go same price on this one. I don't think it's gonna be lower. Same price, $6, that's nice. I got another one right. Okay, so we have $6. What if we go regular Blue Ranger from 2016? I'm gonna say higher than $6 because clearly these ones just, like the, the glittery ones weren't great. Okay, the Blue Ranger, and I'll be honest, I already just can see the Blue Ranger teleporting price. It's $5, so um, we won't put him as part of the game because I already saw it, and that's cheating. I don't want to be a cheater. Um, but this regular Blue Ranger, is, it's higher at $8, not by very much though. Whoa, so $8 for that one. No, wait, $8, yeah, $8 for this one. Oh, what about Green Ranger, regular Green Ranger? I'm gonna say higher. I just think, I just think that the Green Ranger always seems to go for a little bit more than everything else. So higher, I'm gonna say higher than $8, Green Ranger. Wow, wait, is that right? Okay, this is a vaulted pop from 2016. This is going for $17. I'm telling you, the Green Ranger. The Green Ranger and the White Ranger always hold way more value than everybody else. Okay. I'll tell you that we have a lot of... Um, I'm going to put this here just because, but we already know lower, right? Like, no question about it. It's going to be lower. But let's just let's just check... Definitely not to be worth $17. $9. Hey, that's not bad, though. That's not bad, Yellow Ranger. $9. The other ones were worth, like, $6. So I'll take that. Okay. 
So now we're getting into, there's a mixture of some Star Wars Pops, some Nickelodeon Pops, and some Harry Potter Pops. Let's keep the Harry Potter Pops for last, because I feel like those always hold the most value. Um, Chucky, ooh, I don't know. What's going to be, I think Chucky's going to be lower. I, I'm going to go with lower, because I don't think Chucky's going to be more than, I forgot the Yellow Ranger. How much was the Yellow Ranger? $9? I don't think it's going to be more than $9. Chucky. I don't, what? You guys. Oh my gosh. Chucky is worth $20. I would have never thought that. $20 for Chucky, really? Is he vaulted? Oh, he's vaulted. Huh. Did they ever make fill in Lil Pops? I feel like they didn't. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. I have... I mean, this is going to be obvious, right? Clearly, Chucky's going to be worth more than this one. But let's just play along. I'm going to guess $5 for this, though. $6. Nuts. I was close. Okay, wow. I'm still surprised by Chucky being worth $20. That's crazy. Okay, so we're going $6 for Red Ranger. Um, Ren from Ren and Stimpy. This is from 2017. I'm trying to see, like... My stream's a little bit behind, so I can't tell. Anyways, I'm going to say higher. Based off of that Chucky. Because, yeah. I have to, it's, I got this from Hot Topic, I think. So I got to type it in. Okay, I'm going to go higher. Wow, Ren is going for $16. You guys, those Nickelodeon Pops uh, holding their own. I'm pretty impressed by that, to be honest. Okay, that's impressive. So, $16 for Ren. What about Oblina? I don't think Oblina's gonna, when is this from? 2017. What do you guys think? I think that Oblina, how much was Ren? So I think Oblina's gonna be less. I don't think she's gonna be more than $17. When is this one from? Do that. They're both from the same year. I think it, she's going to be less. Lower, lower. Somebody says higher because they like Oblina. I'm, I'm going to say less. I don't think she's going to be worth $17. That seems quite high. Oh, I have to type it in again. Okay, Oblina is only worth $7. So for those of you who said lower, you are right. Good job. So what about... Crumb. I think Crumb is going to be higher because it's such a cool pop. Look at how cool this pop is. It's super cool. I'm going to go higher. Oh, people are saying lower. Oh, wait, no. That's from the old one. Okay. I'm going to say higher for Crumb. Let's see what you guys are going to say. Um, some of you are saying same. Higher. Crumb is higher. Okay. I think crumb is going to be higher as well. A lot of you are saying higher. Crumb. $9. He's a little bit higher. What was she? $7? He's a teeny bit higher. You know what's crazy? The mystery mini this looks like, which I feel like I didn't actually get these mystery minis. It's a hot, it looks like it's a Hot Topic exclusive. $13. Thank you, Tom. That's really nice of you. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Tom just donated money, which is amazing. Thank you. Okay, so crumb is worth $9. Isn't it crazy sometimes how the value of mystery minis are surpassing values of Funko Pops? I think that's so crazy. It's cool though, because I love I love mystery minis. All right, so crumb is at $9. What about, wait, let's do this one first. Nian Nub. Nian Nub. So it's a common pop, I think. This is from two, oh, 2015. Lower. Higher? Wait. Lower. I, wait, how much was crumb worth? I have the worst memory. $9. Actually, I think I'm going to, I'm going to say Lower. Unless he's vaulted, I think he's definitely lower. Some of you guys are saying higher. 
Ugh, I gotta type it in again. Man, I did a lot of shopping before at Hot Topic and Box Lunch. Okay, oh, he's worth $7, so that is lower because he was worth more, I think, yeah. Okay, $7. Okay, how about this one? Oh, wait, darn. You know, we're not really gonna be able to tell the price of this because I think this is a custom pop. Is this a custom pop? I'm pretty sure that this is a custom pop. But he does have his helmet, and there is a version of him on his helmet, but this is a custom pop. So this one doesn't really count, but just so you guys know, got the Animal Crossing's mini set. Bet those go for a lot. Hmm? I don't know what that is. What's a mini set? They had Animal Crossing Funko Mystery Minis? Is that what you're saying? Um, so this one's a custom pop, so it's not going to have the actual pricing. But the Nien Nub that has the helmet on is only worth $5. But let's go ahead and this is a different type. So I'm not going to count that. I'm not going to... Something just dinged on my phone or my computer. I don't know what it was. Um... I'm not gonna count that one because that doesn't count. Okay, wait, we still have a few Star Wars ones. Oh. Oh, this is the one that's $5. I just gave that away, sorry. So we, we won't count that one either. <laughs> My bad, I didn't realize that was there. Okay, how about this one? Okay, let's do this. This is gonna be fun. So this is worth $7. Do you guys remember, this is the Han Solo in Snow Gear. This was the Loot Crate exclusive. And at one point, Loot Crate was literally selling these for $2. And at one point, this was going on the Funko app for $2. Now, I think that it's actually worth more now. But it was funny because this thing was worth like, it was like, you could get this at FYE. It was like cheap. It was dirt cheap because they could not get rid of them. So with that being said, what do you guys think? Higher, lower, lower, lower. Higher, I have that pop. I'm gonna say, I looked this up recently and I remember being surprised that it wasn't worth only just $2. I don't think it's worth a whole lot still, but I think it's gonna be worth, I'm gonna go with, oh, a lot of you guys are saying lower. I'm gonna go with higher because I think it's worth more than $7. Darn. It's worth $4, guys. That's terrible. That's terrible. Star Wars pops, I'm telling you, man. Okay, last Star Wars pop before we jump into these, um, into these Harry Potter pops. We have a Kylo Ren Unmasked Walmart exclusive. I mean, obviously, it's going to be higher, right? Clearly, higher. I'm going to say higher. It can't be any worse than $4. $4 is pretty bad for a Funko Pop. I'm going to say, oh, I didn't even check the price. I just assumed. Okay, sorry. $20! Wow, that's not bad. Way to go, Kylo. Way to go. Good job, Kylo, my man. I love this pop of him. I feel like um, whenever I get a haircut and I get my hair short, cut short, I either look like a mixture. It's like a mixture of Snape and Kylo Ren, unmasked. But... I love his hair like this. Okay, $20. This is going to be fun and interesting now because now we have a bunch of Harry Potter pops. And those ones are tricky because um, a lot of the Harry Potter pops, even when they're not exclusives, the vaulted ones, have gotten a lot of like value. They've been able to obtain a lot of value. So I think this will be close. So let's go ahead and I'll just grab this one. This is Harry Potter. I have a bunch of these actually. I think I have like three of these. So I'll pull these ones out for now. But this is Harry Potter with his sorting hat, and this is a Barnes & Noble exclusive. So this is gonna be tricky. $20 for Kylo Ren. How much is Harry Potter gonna be? Barnes & Noble exclusive. Someone says $30, so that would be higher. Lower, oh, a lot of you guys are saying lower. Higher, lower. Oh, it's a very, it's a very mix. Ooh, I don't, oh, Snape. Snape, Severus, Snape, Dumbledore, Snape. I should do a Zoom with people where we do that. Like everyone's like, oh my gosh, I'm going to try to do that. A Zoom call where it's like, somebody's like, Snape, Snape, Severus, and somebody's like, Dumbledore, 
name. I don't know if it's vaulted or not. I can't check unless I actually look it up and then I can see the price. So it's kind of cheating. Oh, there's 85 people here. Thanks guys. Okay. I'm going to say higher because I just, Harry Potter pops usually hold value pretty well. I don't know about this one specifically, but let's check it out. Ah, oh, dang it. No, this is from 2016. It's still, it's not vaulted. It's worth $15. Ooh, that was tricky business. Dang it. Dang. Ah, oh, nuts. That was a tricky one, guys. That was a tricky one. Okay. Well, $15, we have Harry Potter with the Marauders map. What do you guys think? 15. Oh, what year is this from? I got this from Harry, from Harry, from Hot Topic. 2017, so this is newer. I'm going to say lower. I'm going to go lower with that. <clears throat> and dang it, I have to search it by hand because it has a sticker, but I'll do my best to not look at the values of any of the other pops. Harry Potter with the Marauders map, with the Marauders map. Don't look at pricing, just look at Funko Pops. Harry Potter, Marauder's Map. Oh, you know, I don't think I've been adding these to my collection now that I think about it. Did I? Sorry, I have to go back and see. I didn't, let me add Kylo and then Sorry, I'm keeping you guys in suspense. I think I added that one. Okay. And then, okay. So, uh, it was lower. He's $7. $7 with the Marauders map. So, $7 for that one. These ones are newer, so I don't think they're going for it. So, $7 for Harry. What do you think Ron is? Ron's holding scabbers in this one. I'm going to say higher. I think he's going to be, hi, Brandon. I think he's going to be a little bit higher. I'm going to go with like a couple dollars higher. How much was Harry? Seven dollars. Ron Weasley with scabbers, 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 scabbers. Eight dollars. Okay, well, he's one dollar higher. Um, I just realized that a lot of my like older Harry Potter pops I've already put into my collection. They're already on my bookshelf because um, I did those pretty early on. But anyways, eight dollars for Scabbers. What about our Dementor? Oh, sorry, you can't see him. Dementor. Ooh, I think it's going to be the same. I think $8, ah, higher. I'm gonna go higher. I'm gonna be higher. Yes, James, I'm sorry. I already went turnip hunting. I got turnips for 95 bells each and I bought about a thousand turnips, I think, around there. Okay, I'm gonna say higher. I think he's gonna be worth like $10. I could see this guy being worth like $10. Dang it. He's worth $7. No. He's so creepy looking. Ay, ay, ay. 2016, not vaulted yet. Okay. Dang it. These Harry Potter ones, man, they're bust. Well, look, did I already, I already did the regular Yellow Ranger. I obviously have doubles of that. Okay, how about... Ugh, these are all going to be crappy. George Weasley. More or less than $7. I'm going to say more. Higher. I'm going with higher. I'm going to I'm gonna speed this up a little bit because it's been a very long live stream. Wow, there's 97 of you guys here. Hello, welcome. Okay, $8. I got that one right by a dollar. That's nice. So $8 is what we're going for right now. What about Remus Lupin? Ooh. Uh, this is from the new, okay, wait, just to be clear, this is from 2006, this is older, and this is from the newer set, so I'm gonna say lower. I'm gonna go lower with that one because 
I think that it's it's newer and it's from the newer set. So I think what was um wait, what was I already forgot what George was. Eight did I say eight dollars? Eight dollars. So I'm gonna say lower for remiss. Oh, I have to type it in. Remus is higher at $10. What? I can't believe that. Okay, I'll be honest. This next pop I cheated because when I searched Remus, this, this came up. But, I mean, I'm sure you guys can figure out. This is Remus as Werewolf. It's a Hot Topic exclusive. Higher or lower? I mean, I feel like this is pretty, like pretty standard. Mm. For, those, for those of you who said higher, you were right. $25 it's going for. $25. All right. This is a common pop, I think. So Luna loved good with her Gryffindor head on. Um, again, this is from 2017, so this is from the newer-ish set. Same set, actually. Actually, it's the same set that Remus was from, but Remus, it was an exclusive. So I'm going to say that this is going to be definitely lower. She is going for $10, so she's lower. But that's not bad for a common pop. $10 is a pretty legitimate price. You know, you saw that we some of these are going for like $5. Okay, Dolores Umbridge. Now this one, do you guys remember? This is, I hope this is worth nothing because this was one of the pops. I don't know if you remember, I bought all these from the mall from Hot Topic and while I was on, going up the escalator, I accidentally bumped my bag against the escalator and I, I damaged this pop and a couple, I think it was like Fred and George had damage. And I think I went and bought Fred and George again, but I didn't buy the new Dolores Umbridge because I don't like her. Um, but I'm going to say higher as well because I think that she is going to be worth more than $10. So, oh, I have to type it in. And this is older. This is from 2016. So it's from the set before. Wow, she's going for $18. But I do have box damage. So probably not as much. But $18 for that one. That's not surprising to me. I That seems about realistic. Oh, we have a Harry Potter Target exclusive from 2016. It's Harry Potter with the Golden Egg. I'm going to say, ooh, ooh, I don't know if, oh, I don't know if it's, oh, I don't know if it's going to be more than $18. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to say higher because Target exclusives are somewhat challenging to get, sort of. So I'm gonna say higher. What was she, $18? Oh, $22. He's worth $22, so that was higher. That makes me feel a little bit better. Okay, stack that Dolores up there. Okay, we have two more, and these are, I think, pretty common, so. Let's do this one first because it comes from the newer set. So I'm going to say lower just because I can't imagine that this one's going to be any higher. Oh my God. I really legitimately spent so much money at Hot Topic. I have spent so much money at Hot Topic, you guys. It's not even funny. Hermione. Okay, so this is Hermione with Time Turner. This is actually, it's not bad. It's going for $9.00. So definitely lower. Okay, last pop. This is the Fred Weasley pop from 2016. Uh, uh, this is probably one of the ones that I also kind of damaged, but I'm gonna go with higher because it's it's a little bit older. What do you guys think? Higher, higher, lower. Okay, I'm gonna go with higher. Fred Weasley. Ah, $16. That's higher, right? How much was she going for? 10? Oh God, I forgot. Oh no, what was Hermione? 
Was Hermione six? Hermione wasn't sixteen dollars, was she? No, nine dollars. Okay, yeah. So, what is this? Look at this mystery mini. This mystery mini of Hermione from 2016, it's going for $75. I don't think I ended up keep getting that whole set. I think I stopped doing it because that was the one where I think they started putting the animals and I wasn't a fan of that. That's so funny. Okay, so there is that. That was fun. Sorry, it's kind kind of older pops, kind of not really, but a little bit, kind of a mixture. Um, I still have a few more boxes that are like that for my old house that we'll have to um, pull in at some point. We can do like do the same thing, very similar, maybe a little bit faster. Sorry. Um, yeah, and it's uglier in person. Yeah, that it looked pretty ugly to be honest. Um, is there anything else? What are you guys thinking? Is there anything else that you guys want to see? I, again, my room is a hot, hot mess. It's just a hot mess. I got to work on it. I can't wait till I can get all of my bins organized. It'll be fun because I'm trying to catch up with all my old giveaways so that I can do new giveaways. Have you done mystery boxes before? Uh, I've definitely done mystery boxes. I don't know what kind of mystery boxes you're talking about, but if we're talking about like Funko Pop mystery boxes, heck yeah, I've done Funko Pop. You must, maybe you're new to the channel. Sale mystery boxes. I don't know. Oh, like, oh, have I sold mystery boxes? No, I haven't. But once I, my goal is once I can organize my stuff a little bit more, once I can catch up with all the giveaways that I owe people, then I do want to try to sell mystery boxes, but they're not going to be like the Funko Pop mystery boxes that you get from everybody else. So I'm shaking the table. So my camera's shaking. Um, they're not going to be the same as the Funko Pop mystery, mystery boxes that you get from everyone else. They're going to be more so like, It'll have like a pop, but then also stuff because I have a lot of stuff. You guys know I've been doing subscription boxes for like um, almost five years now in May. May 21st, I think, was my first video that I ever posted. Um, that is so I've been but I mean, there hasn't been as many sub boxes in the past like year. But I would say like I have four years worth of subscription box thing. So things where I get things like notebooks and scarves and things like that. It's funny because like I didn't have any like bandanas and I was like, I'm pretty sure I have a ton of bandanas. I just have to go through my boxes of things and I'm sure I have tons. So um, do you have a high price pop section you can get to easily? So I have been for my giveaway pops. I have on that, on that giveaway, um, on the giveaway shelf over there all of the pops that are on the top shelf are pops that are worth thirty dollars or more i think is what i've done and so that way whenever i do start to potentially do um mystery boxes i have like i kind of have a better understanding of like which ones are worth more or whatever um yeah so there's that um, and then I also have like on this phone that I'm filming with, I have a different Funko Pop collection for my giveaway. So I have like an actual thing. Um, do I have any peel box presents? So it's funny. I actually have one. So obviously, and I feel bad because in, in the process of me moving, hi Rory, in the process of me moving, a lot of the stuff just got piled into like giant boxes. Like I had these, the big sofa boxes that I had for my new sofas downstairs, I went to my old house and literally just dumped all the boxes I had into those big boxes. And, um, and I like, so all of my peel box presents are kind of mixed up. So I know in the garage, I have a lot of older peel box presents and I, I checked my new, so I have a new peel box. I don't, talk about it often because I'm not very good at checking it yet. I'm trying to do better, but I checked it recently and I had a, a, a box that somebody sent me from last year, last summer, it was in my PO box. So I took that and I was going to do it on this video, but the problem was it's in my car and it's pouring rain right now. So I decided not to, but I will on the next live stream, I'll make it a point on the next live stream to have any of the PO box presents that I actually have my hands on, um, to open those. Okay. Let's see. Yes, I'm pretty sure if you do it, it'll be awesome ones. I think so too, because you guys know, like when I sell boxes, here's the thing. Obviously my channel, I haven't been posting videos consistently for the past like two years. It's been really inconsistent ever since my car accident. It's been really inconsistent. 
And so the, the amount of money I make from YouTube fluctuates. And I, you guys you guys know I don't do this for the money. But now that I have a mortgage payment to pay every month, it's definitely been a lot more challenging. And I've been trying to keep up with my channel more because obviously the more I keep up with it, the more income I get from my AdSense. And it allows me to really keep up with the purchases that I make. And then when I stop, when I take breaks like this past couple of weeks, my my revenue goes down a whole lot. And so I have to be really careful about that and just like, like I was looking at my bills and I'm like, ooh, I need to be careful. So this the boxes that I decide to, or like when I start selling boxes, the ultimate goal would be, I'm not trying to like make a killing. Like I see some of the people that do like mystery boxes or raffles. I'm like, oh my God, they're making like, they're, they're gonna make like $2,000. Somebody's here because I hear my garage door opening. Um, they're gonna make like $2,000 from selling these raffles or whatever. Like I've done the cost recovery on those. But I think the thought process for my boxes would be, of course, to make a little bit of money and it's gonna take time. You guys know how good I am at shipping things, which is terrible. Um, but I wanna make a little bit of money just to have some extra revenue coming in for my channel specifically, but I'm not trying to like make a killing off of you guys at all. Like that's not the goal at all. So, um, and, and because I have so much stuff, in theory, you would be getting a pretty good deal because like if, if I sell a box for $30, let's say, you have a chance of getting a good Funko Pop, but then you should have at least like $30 worth of just other things in that box in theory. So I don't know. It's kind of this balance. I'm not quite sure. Um, yeah, and I do, I try to do really what, like for giveaways and stuff, like I really try to pack boxes as much as I can. So that's the ultimate goal. I've been trying to say that I want to sell mystery boxes literally for the past like three years. I've been paying every month for a website. If you go to nerdynoob.com, I actually have a website that I've been paying for for the past three years and I just haven't sold anything. So I think what I might need to do is like try to do a tester. Um, and I feel like it'd be good for, for people who watch me so that once I ship all my giveaway boxes and I'm caught up with that, maybe I'll do, I'll put one box on sale on my website and whoever gets it, gets it. And then just to see how it goes. Like, I don't really know how it works with, um, cause I'm using, uh, what's the site called that everyone, Spotify, Shopify, Shop, Shopify, I think. I think it's through Shopify. And so like, I want to see how it works with like me getting the money and then like the shipping labels and all that stuff. Cause I don't really know. Um, nerdy noob merch. I do really want merch. I just don't know how to do it. Like, I don't understand how people do merch and things like that. Like, I gotta look into it cause I think it'd be so cool to get some um, shirts made, but I think I'm gonna go on Fiverr, which is an app that you can use to get graphic design and see if I can get somebody to design a logo. Um, for those of you who know, like the Nerdy Noob shirt that I have, I love that shirt, but I, um, Jack the Ripper, I think is the one who made me that shirt, but I don't I don't know, like, I don't know how to make that design into like a one that I can like, um, you know, put on a shirt and sell it on my, on, on anything really. So I have to figure that out. I know how to make handmade shirts with iron on transfers, but those won't last very long. So that's not good. Um, let's see. Are you making a video with top pops? Gavin, I don't know. I don't know if top pops is still here. I don't think he's here still. Oh, wow. There's 105 of you in here. Wow. When did that happen? Um, I know that he has that new series. I think it'd be so cool to be on a series, but I also, because I understand because I haven't been really like keeping up with my channel. I understand that like, I'm not, it's not like, you know, I'm not, I don't know. I feel like people just wouldn't really want me on my, on their channel. Um, but I don't know. Um, yes, Anthony, you are a mod. Congratulations. Just make some patch and pin sets and then we can all sing the song. That is a great idea, Rachel. Oh, I see. Stuart agrees. Stuart agrees. Uh, Devin said he'd buy my merch. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, Ma Megan said that she'd rock a nerdy noob shirt. It'd be so cool. Rachel says, yes, merch. Um, I'll have to, you know what I do have? I'll do an unboxing video, but I just bought uh, merch from a YouTuber that I watch that's a Funko Pop YouTuber. I need to buy one from um, Tristan. I actually had one at one point in my cart and then I didn't actually buy it. I don't know what happened there, but I just recently bought another one. Down, it's downstairs, so I'll have to do that. Um, you and Top Pop should do Guess That Pop video. Probably, but he'd be really good at it because I feel like he's a lot more aware of like pricing. I'm not as aware. I've been getting better, but yeah. Hi, Willow. Good morning from Australia. Um... Oh, I should do like a patch. Oh, a patch and pin shirt. A pat like 
a shirt that has a patch and a pin or or like a shirt that has a picture of a patch and a pin. I could totally buy shirts and then put patches and pins on it and then we just have patch and pin shirts. What music is on your playlist? Oh, Heavy J, you're getting you're getting deep. Um I haven't been listening to a lot of music lately because I usually listen to music when I'm driving. I, I like really sad songs. So this is my current playlist. Um, this is the current playlist that I have right now. And it's like a bunch of really sad songs because again, that's that's just my jam when I'm in the car. I love listening to sad songs. Although recently I just signed up for Apple Music. Apple Music. And I was streaming the Backstreet Boys and NSYNC. I went through like a, a legitimate old school phase uh, a couple weeks ago and that's all I was listening to when I was uh, driving um hi lyrics from North Carolina you'll be a guest on pop talk on pop I maybe one day I'll be a guest I don't know Tristan if you need any guests let me know I will I would love to be on your channel that would be very cool although you guys because you know we're non-essential time my my facial hair is getting so out of control like at some point, I was, like, on my uh, work meetings, like, I I'm not angry. I look, because, like, my eyebrows, that well, there's just one day that they were just, like, I couldn't get them to go down. And I was, like, I, I look angry, but I'm not angry. I'm sorry. Because, like, when I just don't make a face, my eyebrows make me look really angry. Uh, yeah, Mikio says that Top Pops is on top of prices. If you had to beat him, it really would. I need a temp to help me out. Yes, Hudson, I do. I really do. Do you watch Captain Pops or Beard of Pop? So I don't watch Captain Pops or Beard of Pop channel but i've been seeing them a little bit more lately because i think they just did a live stream so i might go check them out i don't i don't there's like people that i follow just because these are the people that i follow when i first uh like when i first my channel first started doing funko pops i kind of there was like this group of people that i kind of just um followed so it's like people like tristan and bearded and cletus and jetta and there's just like a handful of people but um I haven't had a whole lot of time. I barely have enough time to watch my It's Judy's Time videos. And I love, or It's Judy's Life. I love those. And I barely watch those now. Um, I love, I'm just not sure if you can answer this. How much money do you get on average per month for YouTube? I need some extra money during, so asking for a friend. Are you asking for a friend or are you asking for yourself? Because you said I need some extra income during these challenging times asking for a friend. Um, I'm not offended at all by you asking me that. I was actually going to do a video at some point. I don't know if you guys would be into that. I know some people have done that, but um, it's not, it's just not something I've done yet. So on YouTube, it fluctuates and it depends on the time of year and obviously the consistency of me posting. It's so like right now I see that I, I'm so sad because at some point I stopped posting and I was, my revenue dropped to like, it literally dropped to like $150 for the month, which is super, super low. Like I don't know the facts for Tristan, but I can imagine that he's probably making like, four to six thousand dollars a month if not more and that's just from adsense and that's me guessing i like to get i always try to like guess based off of the amount of subscribers you have and the amount of views people have of like what people are making so that is my guess for him i actually think he might be making more now because he's at two hundred thousand subscribers and he's getting like he's getting on a good day it seems like he's getting like thirty thousand views a video which that would correlate to 30, like $150 around for just that one video. And then he's still getting more views on top of all the other videos. He's got a backlog of, log of videos. And so, yeah, like, anyways, I, for me personally, when I dropped down, I, like, at one point I was, like, at 150 and it was really bad and I felt sad. And so I started posting more consistently and I was able to get, I was able to get my revenue back up to, like, it was like seven or 800 when I started posting consistently. And then this past couple weeks, because I stopped posting consistently, I dropped back down to like 300. So that's not great. Um, on When I was at my peak, oh, you know when I started getting a lot of money? It was when my that 90s video blew up. You know my 90s video? That one blew up and I was making like, all of a sudden I made like 1300 like in a span of like four days because everyone was watching that video. But that's not... That's not normal. So Social Blade is a good site. Uh, Mikio talked about Social Blade. You can check out Social Blade, but what you do, what I've found based off of my income and what it says I'm making is you take whatever they say people are making and you divide, you like find, <coughs> you find the middle. Like if it says that I'm making anywhere from 500 to a thousand dollars, I always just find the middle point between those. And that's roughly how much people are making. Um, and again, that's just me guessing. And then there's a lot of YouTubers who partner with companies. I don't do that. Um, 
it's just not something that I've, I, I've been, I've like worked with companies in a sense where they like help me with giveaways and stuff, but I'm not necessarily making money from them. Sometimes with subscription boxes in general, um, you know, when I have an affiliate code, then I can sometimes, I used to make revenue off of that, but because there's not that many sub boxes, I don't, I don't really have that anymore. Um, so yeah, I mean, it just depends. And it honestly, like, it's not easy. I know a lot of people see it and they go, I want to do it. You have to put a lot of work and effort and time into it. Like you have to film videos, you have to edit the videos and post in the videos. And like, for me lately, it's been really difficult to find time to do all of those things together. So like, it might be one day I'm able to film videos, but then I'm not able to edit and post them for like another three days. So anyways, <coughs> let me, um, I missed a lot of questions. Let's see if you look, can you do a collection tour? Gavin, yeah, I think what I want to do is build my other bookshelves first and then I want to do a proper, I haven't done, I've never done a proper Funko Pop collection video. Even my, my Funko app is not fully updated because I just have never taken the time. So hopefully I, I can work on that and then do like an actual video where I'm like, here's my 700 plus Funko Pops. In my Funko app right now, I have... Uh, here's my click. It's hard. I miss Dashpedia where you guys could like see my stuff, but you can't see it anymore. Um, I'm at 835 pops and $14,000 for my current collection, but this is, I still have a lot of pops that I haven't added. Like I have pops throughout the garage and my house and everything. I just haven't had the chance to bring them up and actually add them. Like even all these pops here that I've just unboxed, I don't think I've added these to my collection because I need to build bookshelves to put them in. Anyways, um, Beard of Pop is a great channel. I will definitely check it out. Top Pop's just a live stream with them on Saturday. I did see that. I didn't see the live stream because by the time I saw that they were doing it, it was already too late because they're Eastern. Uh, let's see. Uh, what kind of shirt would you make? I like simple shirts. I don't like shirts with like, like the one that I have that somebody sent me, it literally says like nerdy noob unboxing. And I love that shirt because it's super simple. I just, it's not in your face. Although I do want to have somebody design... I'm hoping I can go on Fiverr and send them a picture of me and Mac and they can make like, like, like animated versions of me and Mac because I think that'd be fun. Or even just like a shirt with Mac's face on it. I would be down for that, especially because Mac's older. Like, even if I put a, a picture of Mac and it said like 14 years strong, like, wouldn't that be cool? I would wear that. Okay. Um... Diego, no worries. I didn't think it was weird. I, I, you know, as somebody who is even on YouTube and I see how it works, I always wonder like what other people are making. It's, it's a thing. Like I, I don't think it's a weird thing to wonder that and to get advice and get feedback about it at all. Like I, I would definitely that my advice to you though, is if you're trying to go on YouTube to make money, it's really difficult. Like I, I, it, fell into my lap that I ended up making money on YouTube, but it wasn't ever the reason why I was like I started my channel. So it, it's been a nice benefit to it. And it's been a nice monthly benefit when I can keep up with it. But it, I, if that's your living, um, you know, it's difficult. You just, cause you have to build a fan base. It took me a while to build a fan base. I was just watching the video I posted on Instagram of me and T when I was like trying to get 1500 subscribers. And it was like the coolest thing in the world, you know? So it just takes time. It definitely takes time and a lot of work. Okay, let's see. Are you bored since there's no sports on right now? Jessica, yes. Jess, I am so bored. I miss baseball. I am um, I heard that potentially once football season starts again that they're not expecting for uh, football players to play in front of a live audience, which is so sad because I love football. Not that I ever like go to football games live anyways. Um, are you sad, Jess, about Tom Brady leaving the Patriots is what I would like to know. There's my question to you. Um, as you said, Rory, I'm still working on getting you that 100k. I, you know, I would love to hit 100k. And I hope that once I can sort out my life, I can start doing like goals again. Cause I feel like at some point I didn't, I'm not gonna say I gave up. I just kind of stopped making goals for myself. And I think that was something that really helped drive me to be consistent and to like really do all the things and do the giveaways and do the things. And I just like, haven't had a chance to do that, but Oh, one day, the day that I hit 100,000 subscribers, I'm going to die. It's going to be so cool. Um, Lisa said 700 a month. Yeah, when I lately, when I've been con posting consistently, I can get about 700 a month. So it's, it's pretty good, you know. Um, I, I, when I, my channel was bigger and better, I was like, I was usually around 800 to 1,200 a month. And then December, you always get more because December, I don't know, you always get more. Top Pop is a live stream. E 
Yes, go on average. Thanks, Steph. Have you had, Rory, have you had any problems with the Ferrer Market Box? I never got my November box. They sent me $40 in gift cards, but I never got the box out. Honestly, I took a break from Ferrer. I just recently, I think, bought a new one, the TV one, but I'm not quite sure because I have taken a long break from that. I kind of forgot that I even had them because you have to go on and manually pay, and I, like, just wasn't, I was forgetting to do that. So I'm not quite sure about that. Faith Hudson said, I want to have a place to go once everything opens up. Yeah, I haven't. Obviously, I would have been fun go pop hunting online. Good morning, good morning, good morning, Kern. Oh, I lost all the things. Where am I? Um, Mikio misses Dash PD as well. I have a damaged box Walgreens Hawkeye. Oh, thank you, James. I don't think I have that one yet, but hang tight with it because I, I just hate like accepting. Honestly, I hate accepting gifts from you guys because I feel bad that I'm not able to like do more to for you guys. Um, but that's awesome. Thank you so much for thinking of me. Uh, Diego asked, what made you want to do a YouTube channel? Honestly, I fell into it because I wanted to buy, I ended up buying 15 sub boxes within a week and I knew it'd be really hard for me to justify that with everybody in my life of like why I did that. And so I was like, oh, cause I'm going to start a YouTube channel. So it was like my out as to why I bought all these subscription boxes. And then it kind of just became a thing, to be honest. Who's your favorite BA chef? Oh, great question. Mine is Claire because her hatred for tempering chocolate speaks to my soul. I love Claire and Brad and I love them together. I love when they're in videos together. They're just so funny. I, I think Brad, I love his personality and his chillness and I love Claire for her like OCD like intenseness. I think I relate to both of those aspects. So I really like both of them together. And a lot of the other um, chefs are growing on me. They weren't in the beginning. I really only like Brad and Claire, but I like Carla and I like Molly and I like Andy and I like uh, Chris and, you know, um, yeah. So they're all growing great. Rhoda, like I like Rhoda and Gabby and, you know, I watch a lot of BA for those of you guys who don't watch Bon Appetit. I love their channel. It's so great. Anthony B just got an iPhone Max and I'm in love with it. I have the iPhone X. Are so for both of my my nerdy new phone and this phone are iPhone XRs and they've been great. I can't complain. Unboxing uh, Jesse Miller unboxing. Happy Sunday. Hi hi Jesse. Happy Sunday to you. Um, you won't make so much money on those. How are you? I'm doing great. Why cats vlogs? Out of all the products pops, which ones are your top favorites that you'll never sell? Um, some of the ad icons that I was actually able to get some of my older pops from when I first started, um, collecting. Honestly, I talk about selling all the time and then I, I just feel like I'll never sell anything to be honest. So I don't know. Um, let's see. Nicholas King wants to visit my, my island on Animal Crossing. I haven't shared my, my things with anybody yet. I saw the top pops just did. I was going to try to visit his island, but I'm not there yet. I don't, I'm not quite sure what that even means. Um, but I'm not there yet. So, but soon, I think I'm going to, when I start laying people on my Island, I don't think it's going to be like an open type invitation. Cause that scares me because I work, you know, like I work really hard on my stuff, but like, I'll check in with you guys and maybe like I can do like, I, we can DM each other or whatever. Uh, Mikio says I made a Leroy shirt of my pug. He's 19. That's awesome. Willow says 100% here for a Mac shirt. Yes. Um, Hudson Acid asks if there's any new sub boxes. I mean, there's always new things. It's just getting a company to get on their feet to be able to do that. It's challenging. Um, Christy, aloha from Hawaii. I hope you're doing well. I love Hawaii. I miss Hawaii very much. Um, WrestleMania, WrestleMania is, are they still doing WrestleMania or is it canceled? Are they, I've, I've seen that like on Raw, they've been wrestling without an audience, which I think is so weird to me, but I mean, it makes sense. Um, thank you, Anthony, for following my channel for such a long time. Devin says they've talked about having football on time. Gavin Newsom, which is our governor, had said, like, I don't foresee people in for football, like, playing football in front of a live stand so in California, so I don't know. Brendan says she's getting that 100K. I hope at one point, one day in my life, I hope I get 100K, but we'll see. Um, let's see. Cool. For air box is kind of shady lately. Ooh, that's not good. Seeing some, some complaints about them on the Figpin subreddit. Okay. I didn't know that, but apparently that's a thing. Um, what is your fave thing to cook? I love, I love cooking curry. And lately I've been cooking a type of like a version of, um, Eris Galdo, which is a rice pour, a lemony rice porridge. That's Filipino. Um, I've really enjoyed that. I like to cook steak. I haven't cooked steak in a while, but I like to cook steak. Um, I love cooking like frozen fried. I love TV dinners, frozen fried foods. 
Anyways, uh, Mikio misses my bedroom box of walls. I do too. I actually miss that as well. Maybe in this room I can make, maybe in that corner I'll do like a wall just <gasps> for throwback. I might do it. Claire's amazing. Love her. Yes, Chris. Claire's number one. Yes, Lisa and Chris. I agree with you. I love Claire. Um, what do you miss most from having to stay at home? Honestly, I don't really miss that much. I, I miss my God kids. I am not able to see, well, I see Jackson a lot, but I'm not able to see Audrey and Maddie right now. And that's really sad. Um, they just got an iPad. So sometimes they message me with videos and things and that's really nice, but I do miss them a lot. Um, but I was a homebody before, so, you know, uh, Faith Hudson, being home now and not working, are you getting more things done? No, cause I'm still working. Actually, I'm working even more. It's crazy how it works because I work from home but I find myself working more than I did when I went into work, which is kind of sad, but we're getting a lot of things done. So that's good. Hi, Chris. Um, oh my gosh, you guys are asking questions so fast. Uh, Jess says she said that the page, they left the Patriots. I'm interested to see what's going to happen to the Patriots over the next few years. Yeah, me too. I heard a rumor that at some point the Niners were contemplating picking him up because he's from Tom Brady's from my area. Um, but then they ended up staying with Garoppolo. So I'm kind of glad that they did too. Not that I don't like Tom Brady. I just, you know, we, I don't, uh, anyways. Um, also said that Mookie Betts went to LA. Yeah, that's kind of sad too. I'm not that sad about it. When was the last time that you were on your electric board? Uh, it's been a while. Actually, not that long ago, but it's been raining. So there was one point where I did it recently because it was, the weather was good and my board was charged, but I need to, um, I need to do maintenance on my board. I need to change out. I need to get new wheels and bearings. I need to order those. I have to, um, I have a new battery pack I need to install and new, um, what do you call it? Belts. I need to do my new belts and my new guards, my belt guards. So I have all that stuff. I need to, um, install it. Um, any plans on doing another cooking vlog? At some point, hopefully. Um, I'm going to start getting HelloFresh again soon. So, yeah. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Thank you, Jesse. Yeah, hit that thumbs up button, guys. People can't mess with the stuff on your island if, if you aren't best friends. Oh, can't use axes or shovels. Oh, I didn't know that. I don't know what that... Can they take my fruit and stuff? I wouldn't want my fruit to go missing. That'd be sad. Hello, Jared. Uh, wrestling with an audience seems awkward. It is. They can take... <laughs> items that aren't placed though oh gosh well I definitely don't want anyone on my island because I have so many unplaced things on my island that would be so bad all of my stuff is just lying on the ground right now that'd be terrible Anthony says I miss all his sub all the sub boxes I do too um Yankee fans telling you that Boston should give back its rings like they've been us Astros fan uh yeah Jess have they been saying that um, oh my God, that's so crazy. The Astros thing was so crazy. Yes, wrestling yesterday was saying, waiting. Do you watch Nailed It on Netflix? I tried to watch that, Lisa, and I just didn't get into it. I did watch Tiger King, though. Did I talk about Tiger King? I think I did. Um, Jay says, you should check out AEW. I did watch AEW, actually. I was into it for a little bit. Um, AEW, and then, yeah, it's okay. Uh, I literally just made Iris call today. Nicholas, you did? I don't put ginger in mine because I don't like ginger. And I really don't like chicken. So I honestly, honestly, my Eris Caldo is literally, it's literally onions and some garlic and then chicken, some kind of broth with rice and that's it. And lemon. And that's all I do. And then I sometimes I get a rotisserie chicken from the store and then I put pieces of chicken in it. Um, how's your family doing? My family's doing well. I've been checking on my parents every day because they're um, I, they're part of the VPOP group, the vulnerable population group with their age and underlying health conditions. I have not seen them in person. My mom has dropped a few things off. Every few days she comes and drops things like she'll cook. She's been cooking a lot. My mom, I can't get my mom to not leave the house. She goes grocery shopping like every like four days. Um, but she's been doing a lot of cooking. She cook, She just cooked me some ma pao tofu and dropped it off and some asparagus. And so that's been nice. But we don't touch each other. She like, she has her gloves and her mask on. She like, she like has everything in a box and she like lifts it to me. And then I take everything out of the box and then, Yeah. Anyways, um, but yeah, they're doing well and they've been checking up on me because I've been fighting some symptoms the past couple of weeks. They've been checking on me every day because they're very adamant that they think I have coronavirus. I don't really know, um, but I'm still, I'm, you know, it's, I'm still alive. So there's that. Um, love your videos. Thank you, Eric. Have you already answered this? Did you get your terms? Yes, Lisa, I got my terms. In the beginning of this live stream, when it's over, you can go back and look. I ended up buying like a thousand turnips and I got them for 95 bells, which I think is, is a decent price because I've seen a lot of people having to pay more than 100 bells. And then there was somebody who only paid like 91 bells, which is very cheap. But um, I was happy with my 95 price point. 
Uh, what type of work do you do if you don't want to ask it? Why cats? I work in recreation, but right now, because of everything going on, as you guys know, probably where you live, everything's shut down. All of our programs, all of our, our parks are not shut down, but everything in the parks are shut down. Like you can't go on playgrounds. You can't go on tennis courts. You can't go on basketball courts. You can't do anything other than like kind of be in the park. Um, picnic tables are all shut down. Everything shut, pickleball, everything's shut down. But I, um, I'm part of the, our EOC, which is our emergency operations center. And so we have been tasked with opening a homeless shelter. It's an extension of, uh, uh, an extension homeless shelter for people. I don't know. We're, we're still trying to work out the details, to be honest. I don't really know them for a fact, but, um, we're in the process of trying to get a homeless shelter up and running. So that's what I've been working on from home. And then at some point I will go back in, um, because we have to get this homeless shelter up and running. <coughs> um, but I usually work, I usually run programs for kids and adults, like the recreation programs. Um, bye Willow Reads. I hope you have a great day at work. Please be safe. Be safe. Okay. You're welcome. Ah, yes, it is. AW is the same are doing the same thing. Hard boiled eggs are good also. I don't, yeah, I like soft boiled eggs, but I kind of thought about doing that. My dad's been drop, giving me um braised eggs. He likes to braise eggs. He has this braising liquid. It's some kind of Asian thing like soy sauce, five spice. I don't really know what he puts in it, but he braises eggs all the time. It's the same braising liquid that you do. You get a lot of like Asian braised meats in, but he puts eggs in them. And I love, I don't eat the yolk, but I love eating the whites because they're super seasoned. They're delicious. I have nine of them in my fridge right now that he gave me yesterday, which I'm very excited to eat. Faith says, I think baseball will not have a crowd for a few games for a while. I can see that. I mean, I don't think that this sh the shelter in place, I don't think is going to go away. I think it's going to be through the summer. I know right now, like in my area, it's through May 3rd, but I think that's probably going to get extended. I don't really know. Um, but I just can imagine with the numbers now increasing. I mean, numbers are increasing because testing is more available, but I don't know. It's up in the air. Um, a few years back. Oh. Yes, see, I bought mine today for 102. Somebody paid 102 for their turnips. So you can scream your head off in your house now. Yes. Although, I don't know, I didn't say this, but Jackson actually, when I said, oh, somebody just got to my house, I hear the garage door open. There is the man, the myth, and the legend, Mr. Jackson. This is, for those of you, you guys can't ever see that side, but when I'm filming videos in the morning, every so often I'll hear somebody creeping up the stairs and then Jackson will crawl out from behind the little wall and it's just, and then he'll just watch me unbox things. So Jackson, you can come over here if you'd like. Here, come sit down. Remember, don't say my name. <laughs> okay, so Jackson's here. Welcome. So Jackson, they just spent, oh, you, so last night, sorry, wait, let me really quickly finish this. 90 is the cheapest. Um, turnips are only in the morning. Yeah, turnips are only before noon. Uh, your channel's awesome. Homeless shelters, delicious moves. Me saying yes, with social distancing and with our staff and everything, it's insane. Um, Nikki, happy birthday! I don't know if today's your birthday, but happy birthday! Hi, Michael. Um, let's see. He's the cheapest. Bad spelling. Homeless shelters. Yes. Uh, I see your videos. You have pops, con stickers not shared. Yes, you're right. Sorry, again, I'll, I'll point out that the video I, I posted today, they were not shared stickers. They were con exclusives. My bad. Um, it's been crazy at home. My work is still paying me. I'm so glad, Rory, that they're still paying you. That's really awesome. Okay, so Jackson's here. Let's do an interview with Jackson. So Jackson and his family, for those of you who don't know, they have been living with me since last June, since like the middle of last June. And they recently got a house. Don't talk about the city. Don't say that out loud, okay? Um, so they recently got a house at really close by to me, which is awesome. They're like, it's like, what, a three or f a three minute, four minute drive maybe, and then a nine minute walk. I found a shortcut. I haven't done it yet, but um, I can walk there or like if I get a bike, which I'm planning on getting a bike soon, or if my, like if I ride my board, um, it's only gonna be a nine, well, if I ride my board or ride my bike, it should only be like five minutes, but if I walk, it's nine minutes. So they have been, um, working on the house the past couple of weeks, like painting and cleaning and stuff. And then they've been slowly moving stuff. But la yesterday they spent Chris and Sorn, ma mainly Sorn, to be honest, but Chris helped too. Um, Sorn has been, and Jackson's been helping, or Jackson's been going along for the ride and like packing his stuff. But they um, moved a lot of the stuff over yesterday, like all of their beds. So last night was their first night at their new house. How did it go? It took a while for me to fall asleep. I literally kept closing and opening my eyes till I saw a light come out the window. That makes sense. But see, here's the thing. Jackson has been sharing a room with Maverick since in my house. 
And now they have their own room because they got a three bedroom house. And so Jackson has his own room. And Maverick was really nice. So when, when we went first looked at the house, there was like, there was a smaller room across from their bathroom. And then there's two rooms in the back. So there's the master and then this other room. And I just assumed that Maverick was going to pick the room next to the master because it's bigger. And it had like this whole like closet organization thing. And I didn't know this for a while, but then Maverick ended up actually swip, swip, switching because Maverick's older and he was like, he said that he didn't really think he was gonna like be in the house that much longer. And so he took the smaller room that I thought Jackson was gonna be in and Jackson took the bigger room. I so like Jackson- I the color on the wall better on the, I like the blue better. In the new, in your bigger room? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the, we could always change the colors of the wall, but the room is bigger and that'll be good for Jackson because it'll give him more space to play. Like Jackson has more toys that he plays with. Maverick and really- it's a hardwood floor. And it's a hardwood and floor. So he's very excited about that. Although first just house. wait until, just wait until he steps on his first Lego on the hardwood floor and we'll see how that feels because that is terrible. I've done that before and that's not great. But he, so he has the bigger room, but this is gonna be, that was his first night sleeping in his own room since- since for a while, because you didn't have, you Since haven't had your, your, old old oh, ooh, your other house. I almost gave that up. There was an old, not the last house, but the house before that he had, they each had their own room. But then when they moved into their newer house in their older city, oh, this is hard. Um, they had a share room as well. Although kind of not really because Maverick moved out into the garage at one yeah. point. So anyways, so he, yeah, so he kind of had his own room. Then we came here. So, but for the past eight months, he hasn't. Um, I was going to look at trying to get a cool nightlight for him because I thought that would be fun. So we'll have to work on that. I have a nightlight. Do you? Yeah. I know you like light. He likes light in his room when he's sleeping. He's one of those people. Uh, people say that they really like, is that the Harry Potter scarf from your culture fly box? I think so. I got it from one of my boxes. I don't know which box, but I definitely got that. Everyone's saying hi to you. Um, hello. Kern says, that's kind of sad. I love Chris and Soren. Chris and Soren will still be around. Again, they're really close by. And now all of us live close together. So like Dana, me, and Chris and Soren, like all of us live really close together. So once all the shelter in place is done, I think it's going to be really cool. Like we're going to be able to all hang out again. Yeah, have parties and stuff. It's going to be pretty confusing when, when, when Maddie and Audrey, like the when they say they want to come to my house. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll have to see. We're probably just going to transfer between all the houses, I can imagine. Um, if somebody asked, how's your new room? Have you set it up? I know you put your Legos. Uh, he yeah. put, did you, so he, I got him for Christmas, I think this giant bean bag thing where you could put his stuffed animals. The problem is Jackson likes to put all the stuffed animals on the bed. I only have 10 stuffed animals on my bed. Oh, wow. You downsize. <laughs> well, because are you using, oh, well, your bed's on the floor right now, but when he's going to take, I think, Maverick's old bed, right? Maverick's old bed frame. Yeah, but that one, I don't know how many stuffed animals that one will be able to fit. Maybe the same amount as his current bed. I'm not quite sure. But if he keeps stuffed animals in the beanbag thing, then he'll have like a beanbag chair for his room as well, which will be cool. No, I'm probably just going to jump on it. And then he'll jump on it. And then he brought his Legos and roll, it. and roll it around. He brought his Legos. He's so now he, cause he has the bigger room. He's got the whole closet organizer organizer thing. So that'll be cool for him. Cause he can even put like other things in there too. Bye Chris. I hope you have, um, oh, I don't know where you're going, but I hope that you have a great day. Um, be happy that you're working. Devin, I'm super happy that I'm working. It's been crazy, but I'm so thankful. I always, you know, it's a challenging time because obviously like, let's say like running a homeless shelter is not something that I have experience with. None of us do, but we kind of reflected, we had some trainings last week and we've reflected on the fact that like, I'm so thankful that I have a job. I'm so thankful that I have a roof over my head. I'm so thankful that I have friends and family that are there for me. So I definitely, um, and I can't wait to be able to go back into work. I'm trying to be more cautious just because obviously like when I'm coughing and stuff, you know, I don't want to be around a lot of people. I'm allowed to be around him though, because he has lived with me for the past three weeks. Once they officially move out completely, then we'll probably have to social distance where I won't see them for a while. Um, just for, you know, the social distancing purposes. Anyways, um, let's see, short walk. I like, oh, so why cats like to sleep with the light on as well. Um, you need a bunk bed, then a bed could be, well, so he has, a loft bed, Lisa, it's a lot, you would, you should get a bunk bed. They should get him a bunk bed actually. Cause then he could sleep on one bed, stuffed animals could be on the other. And then if he ever has sleepovers, there's an extra bed there. Maybe that's something since that room is so big. The reason when they moved into my house, they both got loft beds because the room is small. And so they needed the space underneath to, um, and I have really tall ceilings downstairs. I have, 
I don't know what the normal tall height of ceilings are, but the ones in my rooms are taller. And so the loft beds work out great because they were able to like have enough room in the bed, but then each have their own space under the bed. So um, with this new house, I don't know. And maybe at some point he will get bunk beds. Um, and then I could sleep over. That'd be fun. Oh, we should do that. And then you're gonna sleep on my bed, and then you yeah. can actually sleep on I my bed. I used like to, you used to when I went when he was like a little kid at his old house. Like I used to when I was over, I'd read him a bedtime story, and then because he like, and he still does it. A like bedtime Jackson, story? yes, dinosaurs. How do dinosaurs say goodnight? Yes, I did. You I love that book. To do that. <laughs> yes, he didn't tell me to do it. I would just do it because I love that book. Um, but we would like hang out, and then I would, I would. I would hang out in his bed until he fell asleep and then we would I would go help like Chris or Soren clean up or whatever. That was when he was like, you were like he was like two or three. Now we would not fit. We wouldn't fit because you're like I guess it was like I think that was maybe five. Maybe up until five. I could see that. I could see that. Um All I remember is that I knew when I moved into that house it was um it was like right before I started kindergarten. Yes. Well, well, I don't know which house you're talking about, but the um the last. The last oh, okay. So the one That's I was talking. The one that you said. I was gonna say the one before. So not the one that you just moved from, from before you moved here, but the one before that. But I met you when you were like a baby, like you were like a year and a half. They literally my experience. I don't know if I've ever talked about this, but my experience working with Jack or like meeting. I met him when he was a a week old. I didn't know that Dana had a sister, and Chris and Soren walked in with this little baby and I was like, who are these people? And they were like, that's Chris, that's Dana's sister. I was like, what, Dana has a sister? They swear that I knew that, but I didn't. I was like so surprised. And then I met them again during like Maddie's birthday or something. And that, but I still didn't really know them. And then Dana had a, uh, like a, a, a bachelorette party or like, it wasn't a party. It was um, a, what do you call a shower, a bridal shower or something? A ba no, well, no, it was a bridal shower. And it was at Chris's house, their old house. And like, we were all there. And then all of a sudden they were like, we all have to go to work. Can you watch Jackson? And I like, didn't know him. Like he was there, but he was like, like a year and a half. He was a little baby, had big eyes. And so I was like, yeah, okay. And I remember I didn't, I didn't know anything about their house. He, I had to change his diaper and I had no idea where the diapers were. I'm like, ah, where are the diapers? And I'm like trying to text people. And, um, and then we just played, it was funny because we played with my camera. I had my DSLR. So I have these kids pictures of Jackson because he really liked pressing the button and they're just literally like really close to his face because he would just would like the camera was on the couch and he just kept pressing the button and it just took pictures of his face which were really cute um that's how I met that's how I like really met Jackson and then at that point we started babysitting more like every Sunday me and Dana and Lola and Lola would go over because Chris and Swan both worked so we'd we'd um, bring all the kids and we'd babysit them and so it was really fun but yeah anyways so for a while, I used to, in a twin size bed, when you have a little a little child, it, it worked a lot better. But now he's a big child, so he's bigger. You gotta get a bigger bed. Um, <laughs> I tried to go up on his bunk bed one time. I was like, ooh, yeah, I don't know. This thing's kind of shaky. <laughs> the, the one one that you have is a little bit shaky. But um, yeah, anyways. Uh, so that's a great idea. We should get things, other dynamics. Uh, you know, Nikki, it's funny because I was thinking about that today. So if you guys saw my Instagram, Dana and Lola, they went to Costco today and they called me and Soren and they were like, we're at Costco, they have some sales. Do you guys want stuff? And they literally dropped off a box full of stuff. And I'm so thankful for those of you guys who, um, you know. We ate some of the rotisserie chicken for You did? I left mine for, I am think I'm gonna eat mine for dinner. They, yeah, they just were super kind to even think, be like thoughtful enough to even think of all of us. And so it's been, and I just was like, appreciating that the whole day I was like wow I'm so thankful to have these families in my life you know Dana me and Dana have been friends since high school but to then be able to like one reconnect with Dana after college and you know be really close with her two daughters and her parents and then meet obviously Chris and Soren through them and then meet this kid and his brother and then like I mean they were just living with me so it's like we're like this family and it's really really cool and I'm super thankful for it and now I'm really excited that we're very close to each other um uh same here happy times I, I'm I don't hate being at home I love being at home I wish I could work from home all the time it's great but I I know that's not a real thing but for now it's great do you have to work on site with the homeless at some point I will at some point I will Yes, but not right now. It's not up and running yet, but at some point I will. And we're trying to do our best to make sure that we are staying as safe as possible. Hi, Danester TV. Danister or Danester? I don't know. 
um, hey, your little cousin is over and you get to hang out with him. Yes, I don't know. They're sisters. Yes, Christina and Dana are sisters. They, if you ever see them together, they're literally sisters. It's, they're, I think they're half sisters technically, but they're like the same person. Michelle says, hey, Jackson and Steph, aloha. It's Michelle from Hawaii. Oh, the one I that we went to eat. Yeah, that was fun. Michelle, we say hi back. Hello. Um, is Jackson doing online school? Yeah, he's doing a mixture of, he had some workbooks from the school that he used to do anyway, so he's doing that, but he is checking his Google Classroom. Which I originally did at school, too. Yeah, oh, so they did that at school. I think at school they use Google Classroom as well, so it hasn't been too crazy, but just, he's been able to do some Google meetings. And it's my and, spring break. So. And it's his spring break now, so he doesn't have to do work, although he should still read. Because you should read every day. And actually, before you leave, come see me because I have some books for you. Um, some Star Wars books. Dad is taking some errands, so I'm going to have to be here. Oh, no, you're stuck with me. Yeah. Ah, Jackson's stuck with me. Oh, He's no. going to have to watch me play Animal Crossing at some point. Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> It's a, not a forced thing he likes watching. We literally sat yesterday and watched, like, what is it, an hour and a half of Austin John plays because I got a little bit behind on his videos and we literally sat there and watched like an hour and a half. Oh, we should watch the Spider-Man movie. <gasps> yes. Oh, maybe we have to do that. I don't know. We'll see. We're going to think. Um, let's see. Uh, Frederick. Yeah, I am an Animal this Crossing addict. Of like your live video. It was like a Sunday with Jackson or something. You Sunday. remember that? <laughs> that live stream? Was there? I think I do remember that because you have been on a live stream with me. I'll have to look that up. Um, Frederick, yes, I'm addicted to Animal Crossing. Uh, yes, Lisa, so I have been different. friends. I know, Lisa, I didn't know she had any siblings. I mean, to be fair, Chris is older than Dana, and yes, they so are technically half-sisters, so, like, Chris didn't necessarily live. I don't know. It's a weird thing, but, yeah, it's kind of weird. Um, Devin's spring break. Why cats like Star Wars 2? You guys have a lot in common. Chris and Dan are sisters. It's amazing. I had no idea. Uh, Devin, he's stuck with you. Yeah, I'm stuck. Jackson's stuck with me. I'm not stuck with him. He's stuck with me. Hmm. Why Tiger King? I don't know if you're saying, why Tiger King? Or if you're like, why Tiger King? I like Tiger King. It's like so bad Even that it's good. my brother's watching. I know. I made all of them. I was like, you guys have to watch Tiger King. Like, Chris. It's too, but it's inappropriate for me. So yes. Too goodness. inappropriate for Jackson. But I was like, Chris. Because Chris loves shows like all of the shows. She I think likes Rise of Skywalker might come on Disney Plus soon. I think it will. You're right. Because when I saw the trailer, like, it was a huge change was, of subject. It was a Rise of Skywalker. <laughs> yes, I think it will come on Disney Plus soon. I think they were trying to get people to buy it first, but they're going to put it on there. Um, I like Tiger King. It's like so bad that it's good, basically. Um, I am still subscribed to Geek Feel, I think. I have like, I just got one in and I have a couple over there. So yeah, I just haven't been unboxing them. So I'll have to unbox those. Tiger King is a train wreck. It is a train wreck. It's like such a train wreck that it's like, but it's like you can't take your eyes off of it. That's how it works, I guess. Um, I, let's see, Jackson is, is so funny in your videos. Agreed. I thought they were your cousins. No, I am not blood related to Chris or, or Dana. Or Soren, if you were wondering. I don't play that. Animal Crossing. <laughs> no, Jackson doesn't play Animal Crossing. Um, Sad. But, oh, yeah. He, oh, were you a answering this question? Yes. I thought you were just stating that out loud. I was like, oh, my God, you're so random. But, yeah, no, he doesn't play Animal Crossing. Really but, yeah, no. Okay. But Jackson is cousins with Audrey and Maddie. So they're all cousins. And, Ma and Maverick. Like, they're all cousins together. Um, so my good. group that I watch 90 Day Fiance with keeps telling me to watch. Yeah, like if you watch shows like 90 Day Fiance, then watch Tiger King. I feel like, or like Jer if you watch Jersey Shore, watch Tiger King. Um, just finished watching How to Fix a Drug Scandal. Oh, I didn't watch that. I'm not judging. I watched it all. Lisa watched it all. Yeah, I watched it all. I watched like two and a half episodes in one sitting, and then I, the next time I watched all of it. And I think Chris did the same thing. Like she watched a couple episodes, and then the next day she's like, oh no, that day I think she stayed up to like two in the morning and watched the whole series. What's your opinion on Netflix series, The Rain? I haven't seen it. What is it about? It sounds scary. Is it about the rain? You know what I've been doing? This is so bad. I spent last night, I probably spent like half an hour last night on YouTube looking up videos of some of the fish that I've been catching on Animal Crossing. Like I watched this video about the oar fish because I was like, oh, I want to see this in real life. And like the football fish, like I have been watching videos well, about the like rare. Yeah, I'm like, and like what they look like in the wild. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is, this is what this game is doing to me. It's making me want to actually learn more about these certain fish oh, because no. I love the rare fish. You want to learn? I want to learn. I love learning. <gasps> Wasatch Pop is here. What's up? Welcome, welcome. 
Um, Bodyguard and Dark Crystals on Netflix, and it's amazing. I thought Tiger King was for kids. No, Tiger King is not for kids. Tiger King is definitely not for kids. <laughs> Don't you dare say that to Star Wars. Don't you dare say Star Wars is not for kids. Star Wars isn't for kids. It's rated PG-13. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you're oh no, Jackson, you're not 13. Oh my gosh, you guys. <gasps> you haven't seen any of those movies, right? <laughs> I've seen every <gasps> single one. We need to call the police. We have to call the police on him. Oh no. Oh, call the someone call the police. He watched the PG 13 movies, but he's not 13. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> You said you wanted me to watch Spider-Man, so I say you want me to get arrested. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> you shouldn't let people... Look, you're, you're letting people trick you into getting arrested. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. I always give Jackson a hard time for that, though. Because uh, yeah. a lot of the Star Wars movies are PG-13. And all of them are. Are all of them? Even the old ones? They're supposed to be. Oh. Well, yeah, but I also... Like, they I was, PG you know, today. before this shutdown, I was helping, um, I was helping some people for our city... Uh, do some movies in the parks and so I've been for the past we've been doing that for the past like five years and I always help pick out the movies so and I was so excited like I worked really hard on picking out the movies which I don't know what's going to happen now like I was like oh we need to show Sonic because it's going to be new although now it's going to be showing online so I don't know but yeah so it's like funny because I've been researching and like we're going to do our first movie at the pools which I'm really excited about um, and I was like, oh, Jaws is rated PG. But then when I said that to my super, she's like, no, we are not playing Jaws. And I was like, why? It's PG. But I've never really seen Jaws. And apparently it's not it's not great and that it um, it's it makes people not want to swim. So I think we're going to have to oh, show okay, like then, Little Mermaid or something. Just see pictures of the Meg cover for oh. DVD. Just, it's just a giant shark. Someone... And like a floating little thing, <laughs> and then the shark just coming up. But is it in the again. ocean? We're gonna be in the pool. The ocean. See, it's just different. There's not gonna be sharks in the pool. Anyways, <laughs> um, Make up police stink. watch. Yeah, police watch my videos. You want to learn? I do want to learn. Watch Outbreak and Contagion. I don't watch things like that. I don't. I haven't seen Kill Bill, and I don't have any um, things. Yes, Mason, I am addicted to Animal Crossing. I've been trying not to be, but I've been really trying not to be. I don't think it's a game that I'm going to be able to complete all the way because I hate, I hate doing all the DIY projects. So right now I'm stuck because I have the three tents that I'm supposed to make DIY projects in order for the build to start, and I'm like so lazy. I don't want to make the projects, but I have to. No. So, At some point. Someone just commented something and I do not want to say it. They said I wrote the law. Prison yeah. Breaks. <laughs> See? See? Lawbreaker. <laughs> um, rated our movie since you're seven. Whoa, that's crazy. Rory misses working movie nights. I miss it too. I miss working movie nights in the park. Jaws is okay. There's some movies that are PG that I'm like, well, they were PG back then in the day. I don't know if they'd yeah. still get a PG rating now. Um... 27 meters down is worse. Jackson broke the lumber. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Well, this has been a really long live stream. I'm sorry. I've, I love just talking to you guys. I've, I was trying to just keep it short and sweet and just do like... Um, I will Jackson, not stop, stop myself stop from breaking watching the law. Star Wars. Don't you dare try it with Jackson me. is quite the Star Wars fiend now. It's funny because I've been waiting for him. I've been waiting for him to jump into Star Wars. It took a little bit. I remember... It was not even that long ago, but man, when he got into Star Wars, he got into Star Wars. He watched all the movies. I think he watched them all with his dad, and now he watches all of the TV shows that are on uh, Disney Plus, like all of the different things. I Bye, Mikio. Have a great day. I could still watch it at my house. Oh, Lilo's here. Oh, did you bring Lilo? Yeah. Oh, cool. I didn't get to say bye to I Lilo. I watch so. Disney Plus at my house. I know. Even He's, though it's not your life. Well, yeah, I, I I was tricking him before and said, hey, you better be careful because what? in your new house. But it's my it's still but my then, Disney Plus. I know. So you better do your work. If I find out you're not doing your schoolwork, then you I cut the access to Disney Plus. But I'm not on your Wi-Fi. So it doesn't matter. You have my, I changed my password. I'll change my password to my account. See, this is what you have to do. You keep up with your schoolwork or else I cut the password of my Dis, my Disney Plus account. And then you do, no, no Disney Plus for you. Oh, no. Yeah, until you do your schoolwork at least. Um... Oh, Mikio's never watched Star Wars before. Really? <gasps> um, yes, Michelle, they did. Or they're in the you process of moving. Watch Star Wars. Uh, let's see. Yeah. So, anyways, Jackson has become. If you like action and adventure, then watch it. I just, I just want to watch Harrison Ford movie now for some reason, because Harrison Ford is just like an action and adventure. Yeah. Indiana Jones. Have you seen Indiana Jones? Called the Wild. Yes. Oh, do you like it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think you just like, like Star, Star Wars. Wars. I feel like. 
I feel like you like Harrison Ford. I don't know. I think you just really like Star Wars, though, which is cool. Um, oh, Rory has never seen Star Wars that she can remember. Oh, I don't, you don't like, but do you not like the Marvel movies then? Like, I like Marvel movies, and I like Star Wars. Marvel and Star Wars are mostly the same thing. It's just that Star Wars is a little more galactic. Yes, that's true. I would say with Star Wars, I have trouble sometimes because some of the things with Star Wars, like, there's so many little details that I just don't keep up with and yeah, like a lot of characters that I like they're in the background and then people will know all the things about those characters I'm like who is that and they're like duh it's the person that was like sitting in the background three rows behind I'm like what I don't know is that like I can barely remember like the main characters and stuff so you don't yeah. even know Luke Skywalker no he's a main character so I do know Luke Skywalker yes but you said you don't know some of the main characters no I know the main characters I don't know the people like there's some character like Nia Nub. like there are some characters that I'm just like who who was like they make Funko Pops I'm like who is this because I don't notice some of the like side characters as they do much make a bunch of Funko Pops of random people though. they do they really do Anyways, okay, well, I think we are going to end this here. I can see people starting to leave, which is totally cool, because this has been 119 minutes, which, how long is that in, in our like time? three. No, two. What's, how many uh, minutes are in an hour? Uh, 60. Times two is? 120. So we're just about, oh, we just hit the two-hour mark. So we've been on here for two hours, which is, yeah, a very long time. Sorry, guys. I thought you meant... Like a hundred and like ninety. Oh, a hundred and ninety. Well, how much would a hundred and ninety be? That'd be like um three hours and ten minutes. And, about yeah, something yeah, like something that. like that. We're working on on different type of masks. Okay, so we are gonna leave you guys here. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this live stream. It's another Sunday with Jackson. Another Sunday with Jackson. I got my turnips. We played some pop games, which was fun. It was a great time. I appreciate it greatly. You guys have a wonderful Sunday. Please stay safe. Please stay healthy. And I will check in with you guys soon. Talk to you guys later. Bye.